now that you've got Bloom set up, let's take a look at uh, uh, a couple of things you can do. So you've got your messaging part here. You can open and close. And this is where your parents can message you, uh, just like with Remind or, or Class Dojo. And you can answer, I mean, anytime you want, really. If you want to keep business hours, then, you know, answer only during certain hours. Uh, but right now, if you've got your class set up, here are my uh, classes. I'm going to pick one class, and I've got all my students in there. There are their eggs. I haven't given them any feedback yet. Uh, but over in my feed, it's nice because I can see which parents have uh, joined already. And the lovely thing is uh, you welcome them, which is really cool because they get a message from the teacher saying, Welcome to my class. Uh, so you can see some of them put pictures on their um, uh, profile, and, and that's pretty cool. So behavior-wise, you can, of course, walk around with a tablet or with your phone if you have the app or just on a clipboard and piece of paper collecting uh, data on, on your students. And then you can click on a student and, uh, oops, not on their name, on their egg, and give them feedback. Nice thing about feedback is if you click on multiple, you can select more than one. Uh, and when you go to next, you can attach notes to each one and it attaches the date to it. Now, I always used to do this, and I'm going to continue to do it after school, so the parent will see that their child was good and safe water quality testing and on task uh, September 5th at 532. And they're going to wonder, hmm, how could my kid do those things when she wasn't at school? Well, uh, they know that the teacher inputs it when they can, and I try to do it on the correct date, the time doesn't matter. But the notes are really helpful because when you go to that child or when the parent goes to their child, they see all the days that they got feedback and they can read your notes. Now when you're lucky and a, the whole class does something well, especially this first week of school, you can click on select, select all, go up here to next, and if they were all ready to learn, you can give them all a plus one, ready to learn. And see, now they've all got one, and look, their eggs are beginning to crack. And like I've been telling my kids, you want your parents to sign up because they're the only ones who can show you how your egg is doing. So that's pretty cool. And I set mine up so that it's 20 per quarter to get the creature to fully hatch. Now, one of the things you can do right on the app is take pictures of your kids and upload it so that only parents can see it. But with the free version, we're limited by how many pictures we can have, so I've got a way around it. What I do is I use my school Google account with Google Photos. And if you type photos.google.com, it takes you to your school Google Photo album. And the nice thing about your school account is that your Google Drive is virtually unlimited space. Whereas if you have a personal home Google account, you only have a certain number of gigabytes. So I use this. And you can click on pictures. And then when you go to the plus over here, you uh, click on album and you can add to an album you already have or create a new album. I already created a new album, uh, so I'm not going to create it again. Uh, so I'm going to deselect these. And, and I do it from my phone. Uh, but what I'm doing on the computer, which you can also do on your phone, is create an album. But once you have an album, so I've got my 1920 sixth grade, you go to this icon here, the share icon, and you go to create a link, and you've got a link to that album. 
Now I selected, there was a lock here, and I chose it, and I said so parents can't upload their own pictures. I, I want to keep it so it's just safe and just me uploading pictures so that if a kid can't have their picture on there, uh, I can control that. But once you copy the link, you can then go back to Blooms, and when you go to Create, Post. I always create posts because they're like uh, Facebook, and, and people are familiar with that. And you can give it a title, and right here at, on 2, let's see, it should just be my class. Yeah, 6th grade, group 1. Now, if, if you only have one class, then that's, that's good. To, uh, that's all you have to worry about. So then here I'll say something. Here are photos of our first week. Boom. And then I post it. Done deal. Notice you can post photos, uh, but you only have a limited space. And video, very limited. But you can upload files. You can even, this, this I love, you can schedule your post to go at a later date. So if you want it to go tomorrow morning, because you don't want to send this out at 5.30, you can schedule your post to go out tomorrow morning at like 9 or, or a, a decent time. Uh, and that's how I start off using Blooms right off the bat. So those parents who signed up, they get something. They start seeing, oh, okay, this was worth doing. Well, happy Bloomsing, and I hope you're enjoying the app.